concerning uh, an Americano, IPOB, and uh, Biafra. The individual home and a mockery knocks an umbra government as ESN shuts down Onisha Market. Uh, that's what it is. Onisha Market and uh, Ren Omokri, a socio political activist, has criticized the Anambra state government over its la silence as a faction of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Now, and also the Eastern Security Network, the ESN enforces sit at home. A forces that home in Onisha area of the state. Uh, Eastern Security Network uh, reportedly shut down markets while enforcing the sit at home order in Onisha area of Anambra State on Friday. The area was thrown into pandemonium as gunshots were heard while people scampered for safety. Right, but the state uh, government has been silent over the incidents. And also, uh, reacting on Mokri wondered uh, why the state government did not set up a high powered delegation like it did over the controversy surrounding Jam candidate Ime Soma Ejikeme. Well, tweeting also on Mokri wrote today there were gunshots in Onusha, uh, the commercial capital of uh, Anambra State. Indigenous people of Biafra, ISN, uh, IPOB, uh, shot down market in enforcement of a Friday statum to protest the continued incarceration of Nambikan. Uh, the defender leader of the indigenous people of Biafra POB gunshots rented the air, forcing parents to rush to school to evacuate uh, their children. But the Anambra state government has not reacted. No statement, no uh, statewide uh, brokers, no update to calm uh, the citizens. Yet, this is a state that felt a pressing need to set up a high powered committee that will investigate and make some money, educate, make a jam result, and give regular updates on that issue to the media. A who is in his right mind chases a rat when his house is on fire. But notwithstanding, this is what we have as the news or the storyline. Now, uh, according to what we have read so far, now, concerning the IPO visit at home, a mockery knocks the uh, Anambra government as uh, Eastern Security Network shuts down on the market. Well, in all this narrative, I believe that uh, the, the, uh, the subject matter is not even the headline. Uh, the ESN reportedly shut down market while enforcing the seat at order in Onisha area of Anambra State on Friday. This is uh, one of the highlights and the hook we can get about. They said the area was thrown into pand pandemonium. As gunshots were heard, while people scampered for safety. Okay, uh, they heard gunshot. Shops were uh, closed down. Um, markets were shut down uh, while enforcing the sit at home. I believe the sit at home is uh, supposed to be on Monday. It's only for Monday, and uh, that is uh, and, uh, that has been a, has been a, the agreement. What we should have, you know, uh, uh, along the line, because Namdekano is still incarcerated because he was. Uh, extraordinary rendered or uh, extraordinary kidnapped, you understand. Now, the government of uh, Buari said he was arrested. Malami announced, and uh, Malami is the uh, Minister for Justice and uh, the Attorney General of the Federation. But he's a full animal, or is an outside man, or supporting the full animal people. But according to the storyline, the Anambra state government has not reacted, no statement, no. Uh, statewide brokers, uh, no update to claim the citizens. So many people are agitating the Igbos, the Yorubas, the whoever may want justice as is being presented. Justice for one is justice for all. And uh, why would one faction of the country, you know, face the marginalization? The other faction is facing contraption and the other one is facing, you know, a referendum. But yet, uh, this is a state that felt a pressing need to set up a high-powered committee to investigate Ime Soma Ejikeme's jump. That is another uh, one that is so, supposed to be said. Supposedly, the people they saw enforcing law or trying to, you know, make sure there is no uh, pandemonium again are the ones uh, that wants the peace in the country. But as soon as they see the inscript of uh, indigenous people of Biafra is an IPOB or ESN on their clothes or on the attire they believe everything that is happening is coming out from IPOB just to you know uh, delay Namdekano's release but the court has already you know given verdict by saying an Americano has been discharged and acquitted now everybody has their own submission but let's thank God that Namdekano is still you know healthy and doing well for himself 
but the only thing he can't have freedom to go out but he's been captivated and they're being t- treated well as such the freedom of humanity is allowed freedom of association is allowed and freedom of movement is also allowed then in the constitution of the country they that have put Namdekano in captivity have done a little bit wrong and it is not right for you know a citizen of a country to be you know dealt with that same way uh, they should judge the case but like i said in my previous article that it was a planned political struggle it's political so keeping Namdekano you know it's political and that's why i believe that Namdekano needed to be released and um, for justice to reign and uh, the Igbos can you know you know be, be happy at some point even if they are not given the mantle of leadership they should at least uh, let justice prevail and that is what it is you now want to go to the comment section and let's hear what they have to say either the Igbo or the Yoruba but justice for one is justice for all on the one on the comment list uh he says it's a big lie i'm here at the mission market no one saw the market in uh, it was opened all through well Onisha, fine i'm very sure you don't even know where Onisha market was located okay this is replying uh you know now renu the small goat is this what you will be doing for a living okay this is coming from uh, anonymous now you're coming to defend uh, the IPOB and the Eastern Security Network, but if it's another man land, you say it's your land. Is it because of ego they are doing it? Uh, this is what uh, is thrown at us and uh, uh, shattering them all over the country. Not that they love any other person, not that they love the tribe, but you know, sentiments and foolishness and uh, making the life uh, unpeaceful or governable for people. Whether well, uh, that is someone's narrative. Now, and what was the reaction of Mr. Noithor? Obi and his idiot followers. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Well, uh, someone says, mm, I'm a How much did they pay you uh, to attack Eagles? Well, from the narrative, I don't know if he's attacking the Eagles or trying to, you know, make them, you know, uh, get relief if an American is being released. Someone said, Which market was shut down at Onicha? I don't know where you guys get your information from. Main market has been open since Tuesday without any problem. I wonder when Renault got his information from. Well, for those that may not really understand where the, the story is coming from, the headline which says the indigenous people of Biafra, which is the IPOB, the sit at home order has caused a, a little rift. Then, in Omokri's uh, opinion, it says that uh, Omokri knocks Anambra government as ESN shut down on the market. Well, uh, I don't know. Now, knocking down the government of uh, Anambra, if at is, as it is, is so true. But uh, we have seen so many, you know, uh, uh, gender points, you know, that we need to use to, you know, uh, rebrand the article, because uh, in this storyline, it was been said that even the uh, the investigation of uh, Mesoma Ejikemes Jam Resort is still on ground. And they said they still need to give a regular update on that issue to the media, you know, to be able to know the truth or know the left from the right. So if Omokri is suggesting, or we, the Igbos, or uh, we, the viewers, or listeners, because we are all, you know, expected to say what it is. But as it is, um, it might be that the ESN just want to try and, you know, salvage the situation of uh, hoodlums or pandemonium as it said as at yesterday that there were pandemonium all over you know the state and the, the, the area was thrown into pandemonium as gunshots were heard while people scampered there for safety well i don't know which of the anambra or onicha so many people have been saying no otherwise is the case well this one i'm going to draw the cutscene. i'd like to share your views in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel at independent tv7 also don't forget to click on the bell icon to get more notifications. Thanks for listening and God bless you.